Hi. Since you guys are talking about test bars or comparing bars or whatever you want to call them, this is a, a fairly accurate bar. This ha does happen to be from India. And there's two things you can do with, uh, with the bar and the test indicator in this position, or at least one. Uh, rotate, rotate your shaft, the spindle, and you can see my needle's moving around. So that tells me the test bore is not very true. It's off by a number of thousands, okay? We'll leave that around zero there. Now, when you crank it over, it's nearly the end of the bar. Now, you can see how much it moved away from zero quite a bit. And you can also see how much it's moving when you turn the bar over. Now, uh, you know, turning the bar gives you an indication of what, how good the MT3, the Morris Taper 3 bore is. You can use the uh, indicator on the spindle and check the face and the uh, register, whatever you want to call it. You can check in both directions, you know. Anyways, so you repeat all this with the indicator on one side or the other and get how far off your uh, headstock is out of true with the ways. So that's about it. Uh, I think the uh, test bar is a worthwhile investment. As I stated previously, I wanted to get a number two bar for my tailstock. Uh, the other thing that somebody talked about was putting this end in the center. Not a good idea. Okay. It will introduce errors. Uh, part of the condition of my Morse Taper 3 bore is my fault because I tried to correct it. It was off center, bobbling in and out uh, by lining up a cutting to a boring bar and getting the correct identical angle on my compound and it didn't succeed partly two reasons such a short travel on this uh, this compound and you know poor judgment on my part I'm a I'm a learning machinist okay I'm I'm new to this I'm 72 years old and sometimes I don't get to the core of things when I think things through but there you go. Have fun.